hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do one azure data factory project so our requirement is like we have to download a file from api and after that we have to unzip those file and we have to store into the storage account so our requirement is like we have to make a api call once you will make a api call what actually happening it is downloading a file once you will do a api call it is downloading the file and it is a file is in the form of a zip file now what you have to do you have to make a api call and whatever the zip file is there you have to unzip it we have to unzip and we have to store into the storage account we have to unzip and we have to store into the storage account so that is the requirement we have so we have to make a api call which will download the zip file from the given url and after that we have to unzip and we have to store into the storage account we have to create a pipeline for this so that is the practical we are going to do so if i'll show you uh, this is the link i have this url whenever i am hitting what actually it's happening if i will download the file you can see the file got downloaded now uh, this file actually got downloaded in the form of a zip file so if i'll show you so you can see this is the file actually got downloaded if i'll show you the properties this is a zip file dot zip file what we have to do we have to hit the url which is uh, downloading the zip file and we have to unzip it and we have to save into the storage account so that is the practical we are going to do so i have created one storage account in this storage account i have one container output container as of now no file is there i have also created a data factory and uh, once you will open the data factory studio first what we will do we will create a pipeline and after that we will do a copy activity because we have to copy right so i will click on the copy we have to go into the source first we will create a data set so what is our data set so data set will be the http because we are making a http request right and it is uh, directly downloading the file so that's why we will use a http click on the continue and the file is zip file so we'll select the binary file click on the continue after that we will click on the link service in the link service you have to pass the url so this is the url we have that actually i will i am passing authentication type if you have any authentication you can pass or uh, as of now i will go with the anonymous type now after that i will check the connection once the connection is established successfully uh, then you can see connection successful click on the create and click on the ok now my source is ready now but open this uh, uh, data set first you have to open this data set once you will open this data set this is the data set we have created right in this compression type we have to give so our file is coming in the form of a zip right so we have to select the dot zip that we have to specify and what is the compression level so we have a fastest and optimal we will go with the optimal fastest uh, will be more faster but uh, it may be costly that's why we are going with the optimal now after that so this thing we have to do so what we have done we have created our source if i'll go to the pipeline we have created our source we have created a data set we have selected the http after that opening a file we are specifying our file is coming as a dot zip and the compression level we have selected as a optimal so this thing we have done now after that we have to store that in a blob storage so for that we have to create a data set click on this we have click on the blob storage and uh, we will save as a binary so we will select that and we have to unzip that we have to remember now after that we will create a link service we will select the subscription type we will select our subscription we will select our storage and after that we will click on the create now the file path where you want to save i want to save into this container so i will select that click on the ok now click on the ok now after this we have to open this data set once you will open this data set so we have a compression time so in a source we have specified our file is coming as a dot zip but in a sync we don't want as a zip right we have to unzip and we have to save so we will not select anything here compression type will be none only so compression type will be none because in a sync we want to save we want to unzip and we want to save so compression type will be null now go to the pipeline in a source 
you can see we have one option preserve zip file name as a folder this you have to unzip whatever the zip file name will be there that one folder will get created if you will take that i don't want that i want unzip and i want to store that as it is so now after that what we'll do i'll click on the debug and let's see our pipeline is working fine or not so i click on the debug uh, it will start running let's wait uh, you can see the debugging is started once the debug uh, will complete uh, we will see what are the files are there so if i'll show you in the file uh, i'll click on the extract all extract uh, after ungpm you can see this is the two file which is coming right now let's see this uh, two file is coming into the our storage account or not so it is still in uh, in progress states and uh, let me refresh this you can see it is succeed now now we'll go to the our storage account this is the storage account we have go to the output and here you can see this two file actually it got unzip and it got saved so you can see if i'll show you when i did unzip this two file came right so we are able to read the api call we are able to do a api call we are able to unzip that and we are able to store into the blob storage so I, now here in the pipeline if i'll show you i'll click here if in the source right we have unmarked this uh, box preserve zip file name as a folder if you will mark this then what will happen let's try to see that so i have marked this and after that i'll click on the debug once i will click on the debug uh, the debug will start and in this time the folder should get created and after that the file should unzip on that particular folder so that is the meaning of that so let's see how our data is coming now you can see it is succeed now i'll go to the output storage now after that i'll click on the refresh so you can see these two we have already unzip previously right now you can see this is the uh, file this is the unzip file name how actually it is coming folder got created under this you can see two files are there so if you select those option uh, with the zip file name the folder will get created under that folder uh, you will file will be unzip so that is the thing we have to remember so try to do this practical try to implement by your own then you will get better idea this is a one of the scenario which we have done and before to that uh, whatever the project we have updated uh, that also try to do try to do with practical then only you will be having a hands on and this kind of the requirement generally you will see in a real time also so that's why do practices and if you have any doubt you can connect with me yeah i hope you got the idea that's it in this thanks